I'm the founding chairperson of KZN Gay and Lesbian Tourism Association. We were founded in 2004 and I was the chair from 2004 through to 2014. I'm still sitting on the board and I'm still an advocate for, uh, and an agitator I suppose, for pink tourism, LGBT tourism in the province of KwaZulu-Natal and in South Africa itself. How we came to be here? Well, this is a journey that I started in 1998 in my first tourism in Darba, this is now my 19th consecutive in Darba, so either I really love the show uh, or something else about it, I'm not quite sure. But I think it's got a lot to do with the people that make up tourism. And there's a lot of LGBT people that are in tourism itself, but there's not a lot of LGBT travelers coming to South Africa. And if we're aware of the fact that the South African marketplace has to compete very, very hard with a lot of other destinations globally, we need to work harder to get our niche markets going. And if we consider that the UNWTO report in 2012 uh, quantified global LGBTI tourism value at more than $160 billion that annum, and the United States is counting at $54 billion of that, most of which is their own domestic market, we aren't even tapping the iceberg. We're skirting it. And today, I think, has marked a big change. Yeah, and uh, with the support of uh, South Africa Tourism and the minister who gave this wonderful speech at the IGLTA convention, I think we really have, uh, have made a good start. And I really thank Kandava for this opportunity. And how do you see the future of um, LGBT travel in South Africa? Well, you know what, ITB, I, I was giving this presentation from a global point of view. It is one of our booming segments. We have the largest pavilion, uh, LGBT pavilion at ITB, and each year this, uh, it's increasing. We have a lot of interest from um, all over the world, and um, I think it's one of the very important travel segments. And um, this should also be reflected in, in South Africa and, of course, in, in, in the continent, but there's a little bit uh, work to be done because it's also an issue of human rights, as I said before.